Now we'll look at the different viewports here in Rhino and you'll see again I talked a little bit about this if you've ever done any drafting work this is going to be uh, very easy for you to pick up we have a top view here a front view a right view and then the perspective view and if you want to go into any of these views you you can uh, all you do is double click double left click say for example into this top we double click on it here we go now we're looking at the top down view of this piece double click on it again you go right back to it you can also change the barriers of these if you want them uh, bigger or smaller you can move them up and down as well and there's a number of different uh, ways you can set these up so say for example we want uh, this front view we actually wanted a rear view you see this little car icon here We'll click, hold down on it, left click, hold down on it. It'll bring out this uh, toolbar flyout. And you'll see here's all the different views. So this front view here, say we want it the back view, we'll hover over that, you left click on it. And now we're seeing the rear view of that piece. Uh, say we want to see the right view in that uh, viewport. Click on it. It'll switch. Say we want to see the bottom view in that viewport. There we go. Uh, so it's pretty flexible. Um, and it, again, if you've done any drafting, very easy to pick up and change. Now, there's a couple of different things. You'll notice these are wireframes in these uh, different viewports. In this one here, it looks a little bit different and it has shading applied to it. If you right click on any of these tabs you can do a number of different things. You can change it to a wireframe which we'll see there that's similar to these other ones. We'll right click again you already saw shaded. You'll see rendered. This is what it looks like. Uh, I don't have any colors applied or anything like that so it just looks like solid pieces but you can change these uh, colors and material types. We'll do that later. Here's a view at ghosted We'll go in, take a look at that. Let's remove this. You can see ghosted. See, this is actually a lamp. If we look up underneath, uh, there's a light bulb and a light kit that I have modeled inside there. You can see it. Let's uh, go to X ray. Looks kind of like a view, uh, just kind of like the wireframe. Flat shade. I guess. Mainly what I'm pointing out is that if you like to model in a certain way, be it a wireframe or shaded or whatever, you're more than welcome to. You can change these. And like I said, we'll get into changing the colors and materials later. Generally, when I'm working with a model, I keep these three as wireframe and this one as shaded. It's just a personal preference of mine. I've seen just about every single setup uh, uh, that any designer you could imagine. So completely up to you. You have the flexibility to change these viewport size, uh, how they're viewing your model, and also the type of information that they're displaying.